Dr. Kamel Ben Nasser, who is the president of the Society of Petroleum Engineers. And I wanted to ask you, um, Your Excellency, what is, what is the main takeaway from this big conference and exhibition? Okay. Thank you very much, Kate. Uh, well, the, uh, the first day of the conference, because there are three days in the conference, is the importance of energy, and in particular oil and gas, to provide what is really important uh, for the energy sector, is one, energy security. The second one is being able to support affordability, and the third one is regarding reducing the emissions footprint. I think we, uh, we all consider that the cycle over the last six, seven years uh, of reducing the investment uh, due to a certain number of factors has not been helping the world. Uh, the investments have reduced by 50%. They are way below what they should be. And we should increase the investment in oil and gas for maintaining the affordability and the energy security. So we are currently in an energy crisis and I think what I what I picked up from the discussions this morning is that we really need to have collaboration across the industry, the services companies, the government policy makers, the international energy majors and the national oil companies to bring about this transition and decarbonization I think became, came out as one of the main themes of we have to deliver energy but we have to do it as low carbon as possible. Are you hopeful that this is achievable? This is absolutely achievable. Uh, we all believe that the oil and gas industry can take care of their scope one and scope two emissions. Uh, the uh, a significant portion of them can be uh, reduced, uh, whether it's emissions or flaring, with a relatively low cost. And this is what we have been discussing this afternoon on the decarbonization uh, uh, the decarbonization opportunities. The industry has technology, it has processes, and it's progressing along this way. And it is through collaboration between the producers, the service sector, and also the regulators. So the industry has what it takes, and an organization like SPE can help by providing the collaboration opportunities through conference like this, but also we are working on the CO2 storage resource management system, which would allow uh, the uh, CCUS to be uh, quantified in terms of uh, possibility for storage. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you, Kate.